Hello, my name is Dr. Dominik Lausch. I'm the CEO of Denkweit. I would like to introduce you briefly into our Vision AI technology. We started as a Fraunhofer spin-off to perfect Vision AI technologies for industrial application while making them as easily accessible as possible. It is important to us that we generate a clear added value to our partners as we are targeting long-term partnerships. We have been actively marketing our technologies for about a year and in that time we have been able to attract many partners in Germany, Italy or Sweden. On the left side you can see a live shot from the solar cell production in China. This is a measurement method for assessing the quality of silicon solar cells. The example is very nice for several reasons. First, the demand on the time and performance is very high and in addition the case is technically demanding as the features differ only in shape and combination. The gray values can vary a lot due to the measurement method. On the other hand, the customer has clear and complex requirements. In this case, over 30 defect classes which also changes from customer to customer. We were able to solve the case to the satisfaction of the customer and the special thing is that the customer also did it completely on his own with only a few images. Because with our Vision AI Hub our partners always have access to the latest Vision AI technologies and can create them with just a few clicks. Whether it's an image classification, an anomaly detection or a pixel precise object recognition. I will briefly demonstrate how easy this is later. The creation of the highly individual AI based image evaluation takes place in the Vision AI Hub. Once you are satisfied with the performance, you can integrate the AI into your production or product. Of course, you can always make iterations. You can use our offline software for this purpose, but often our partners integrate um, with the help of a DLL direct into their product. The AI runs, of course, 100% offline and then generates the corresponding added values for you or um, your customer. Why should you use Dinknetz and what distinguishes us from our competition? So first of all, we need only a few images because we use self-developed technologies such as a Denkbyte image generator with which we simulate, for example, also lightning scenarios to make your AI robust against such influences. The second is, we achieve the highest performance. To achieve this, we have integrated all and our own technologies into a toolbox. What makes our AI architecture special is that they are not fixed. So with our unique Denkwide network architecture search, um, which works in the background, we find always the best solution to your problem. This means that our networks are, are automatically highly individualized. And the third is it's very simple operation in a few clicks. There are no parameters or code, only a play button. We take care about everything in the background. We are aware that we promise quite a lot, so I would like to show a few examples from industrial or we call the real uh, life applications. So with our partners, we often implement pick and place stuff, uh, analyst surfaces or uh, measurement cross sections. So you can see here some examples and the required number of images is always shown in the, in the top left corner. We are also active in the field of drones uh, or in a road survey. You can combine the evalu evaluation also with pre-trained networks like a um, GDPR um, network for um, face pixelization. I would now like to briefly introduce the basic principles of the Vision AI Hub using two examples. In the Vision AI Hub, you maintain your projects and tasks. We guide our customers with two different ways of thinking. On the one hand, you can choose the technologies for the analysis directly, such as instant segmentation or the anomaly detection. However, it is more feasible that the customer is guided directly via a use case or his task um, like counting objects, finding objects or measuring page length. The use cases are constantly extended. 
In this project, different content qualities of a measuring method um, has to be determined. Contacting quality are measure uh, methods are to be distinguished fast. So there are five different categories, as you can see here. It is difficult to judge um, the difference between them, even if at the first look you, you, you might think that there is a clear difference. The goal is therefore an image classification, which means you give an image in class and the AI later throw also out a class, which is here just the category 1, 2, 3 or 5. Um, this is easy to do, so you, you simply, you simply, um, you simply give the AI um, a class, press save and next, and then if you have several images, you can press play. Of course, there's also a bulk feature where you can give the whole file a, a complete class, which is very quick. You can easily teach them in, in several seconds in AI. So after the AI is teached, it also uh, predicts what um, what predicts here for this class. You see that's in the valid validation set, um, and it means um, it has not not trained with this image, and uh, it does it right here on this um, thing. So perhaps you want to to know the size of the stripes. So for this, you can set up a new a new um, AI network. Here you have to use an image segmentation. Um, we call this uh, simply QA. And um, that's it. And then you simply have to, to choose um, the right network. And uh, here you see also our logic. Um, it's the annotation tool is uh, simply changing and that's it. You si still press uh, play after several examples. And in this case, you only have to say, okay, that's here the stripe. That's it. And, um, and then you can teach an AI. If you have trained an AI, the AI also suggests you objects as you also have seen here in um, the image, image um, recognition here. So I would love to show this to you on an, another example, which also underlines our performance. Here you have to search for delamination, and I have used an um, an object um, detection where I only want to know if the object is present or not. So as you have seen, um, I only used for train this AI fourteen images. And which is quite interesting because that's um, that's an image where the AI trains, and still it has shown to me, as you see, I have uh, marked two different um, defects. But um, the AI, after it has trained, it says, "Oh no!" Even if this is ground truth, it corrects me on the training set um, and says, "Okay, you have to. Uh, we I have found three objects." P please, please check check this. And if you look where I haven't seen this, then you can also understand why I didn't see it because it's here in the in the upper upper corner, and I didn't um, I didn't recognize this. As I said, that's are the delamination which has to be found uh, on the object, like this. All right, this uh, should give you just a short insight. Everything else you can try yourself with your images in our onboarding phase. And I would be very pleased um, to see you soon. Thank you very much.